Here's a quick video on how to use MD solids to draw truss problems or solve for truss equations within the classroom. So we're going to start here on the main screen in MD solids, clicking on the trusses module. And we're going to start by clicking on new truss. So it's asking for our spacing intervals and typically I'll just use uh, one for us to uh, basically give me uh, the grid size would be one unit by one unit. Uh, but you could customize that into maybe 0.5 or whatever it was you were trying to do. And then for our, for this demonstration, I'm just going to make the grid an 8x8 grid. So here you can see the 8x8 grid with uh, basically one unit up and down, one unit left and right. All right, so now we're ready to um, draw a truss out. So uh, you have what's the create button here and you have an erase button here. And we'll use these to either create members or erase members, supports or loads. So I'm going to start by creating members. Um, the key here is uh, all your members are going to snap to these little um, grid points. So you don't have to worry about trying to line it up perfectly there. Um, but you do have to draw these out in a way uh, like, for example, I'm going to draw half of the bottom of the truss here and then I'll click again and place the second half there. So these little circles represent joints and uh, we'll need to uh, connect other members at uh, the joints. And so, uh, so to create a tr or create a member, you'll simply click, drag, and let go at wherever you um, want to uh, put that member. So I'm going to draw that there. You'll see that it solves for your angles automatically, and we can just simply place those members in. Now, if for some reason we mess up, um, we can always erase and to do that you click on the erase make sure you're still clicked on members and then you simply redraw the member so I'll just like I'm just like I drew it and you'll see that it erases it so we'll go ahead and we'll put that one back now the key is you can only connect members at the joint so for example I couldn't try and connect this member here you'll see that that doesn't work because there is no joint to connect to so um, if I did in fact want a member uh, like so then I would have to redraw this with a joint, say, right there to connect you. So, um, okay, so the next thing that we're going to look at is supports. So if you remember from uh, class, you have a pin support and a roller support. Um, a pin support is going to have a reaction force in X and Y, and a roller support is going to have a reaction in X or Y. So it's only going to have one reaction force. And so when you're creating the supports, you're simply going to draw the reaction forces. So if I wanted this to be my pin, I'm going to click and drag down and let go and you'll notice that it puts in a roller but a roller only has one reaction support so i'm going to put in the second reaction support as well so i'll click and i'll put a react and drag to the left put a reaction force in x so now i have a reaction in x and y which makes this a pin support now i know that this pin is not in the correct orientation but we're not going to worry about that right now in fact it'll fix itself here and then when we go over to the um the roller where the roller support is going to be i'm simply going to just click and drag down and let go and then there's my roller support so now i have a pin and a roller and you can see that it fixed itself uh, over here so if i wanted to make that a pin i would just add one in x and there we go now they're both pins if i wanted to erase one i would just click and drag erase that reaction force and now we have uh, a pin and a roller setup <laughs> Okay, loads are very similar, so I can uh, simply click and drag in the direction and then let go uh, to uh, create that member. Sorry, I have to be on create. So click and drag to the right, and then I can add, say, a 500 pound, 500 unit load there. So we'll enter that. And then maybe I want to put one uh, here as well. So we'll put in a 250 there and we'll enter that load. Okay, so now we have our setup. Same thing applies if you want to erase the load, click and just like you just like you drew it okay so we'll add that one back in perfect all right now we are ready to click on the compute button which will then solve for all the members anything that's blue or has the little t is in tension and anything with the c or in this orange color is in compression